Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Oh, I should have stolen it? this stuff before she watched. Can I pick that up without her noticing? Okay, let's talk to her, see what she wants to know. And welcome back, everybody, to The Outer Worlds. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to pick up right where we left off and continue on our adventure here in Edgewater. So we just uh, broke into somebody's house and stole all their shit, <laughs> except for this. We, we couldn't quite get into that thing, Madoodle. And um, so we're... Whoop, now we're hungry. Okay, so let's go ahead and eat. We are playing this game on uh, Supernova, which is the hardest setting. So let's eat some nanners. And I wish it showed us in the menu how much food it gives us back. All right, looks like we might want to eat something else too. So let's eat uh, one of these breads here. Okay, that looks like it gets our food pretty much almost all the way back. We do need to sleep a little bit too, but I guess we can only do that on our spaceship. All right, so let's continue on here. Um, we're just kind of working our way around the town here. Heard marauders got in. Just between us, Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. You're kidding me. Damn. Always thought he was made of sterner stuff. I want one of his guns. I think he was plagued. Guess he didn't want to die in the sick house. Plagued? Ah, oh, shit. I had some of the soul tuna. Uh-oh, that's not good. You moron. <laughs> Can we talk to these people? Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. Why why would you report me? I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> Alright, is there anything back here we can loot? I don't see anything. Transition to Emerald Vale region. No, we don't want to do that right now. Defeat our foes. The center's in our midst. So, like a bunch of company propaganda stuff, I guess. Okay, there's the cannery. Um, yeah, let's go there. We gotta go talk to that lady in the cannery. Cannery worker. Here's another terminal. Let's just see what it says really quickly. Edgewater Salt Tuna Cannery, a special choice property. Notifications lost and found. Logs. Found one left hand severed at the wrist. Some bone damage. People, this is our second unscheduled amputation as in as in as many months. Please exercise caution and safety around machinery. Maintenance fees will be deducted from your pay. Um, unscheduled amputation? What the hell? <laughs> okay. Uh, only you can protect fourth quarter profits. Right. Right. Okay, we have to go in there, but let's kind of investigate the main building first. You know what? I'm going to get rid of that thing because it's a little bit irritating. We go in there. That's barred, it says. Hmm. That means there's probably something in there. A sprat hide. All right. Sure, we can use that for something. Armor upgrades or something, probably. Alright. Can we do anything at this little console thing? Doesn't look like it. Wait, what? No, nothing. Can we open this door? Didn't we just come through there? I think we did. All right, let's go in here and see what's in here. Oh, man, a shitload of stuff to loot. Okay, here, close the door. Oh, I hope they don't have, like, surveillance cameras. <laughs> all right. Oh, my goodness, look at all this stuff. Holy smokes. That one's locked. All right, if we... I don't see a surveillance camera. That's some good stuff. All right, here we go. Nobody's seen it, so 
If I don't get caught, it's not wrong. <laughs> These must be like the workers' lockers. Yeah, because this is the break room. Uh, kind of a. Kind of not uh, very honorable, I guess, of my character to do this, but we are a bit of a scoundrel, so. That's who we're playing. Taste the freedom of with Spacer's Choice. This is a vendor. Many machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have high enough reputation with the associated faction or a hack skill of 40 or higher. Uh, uh, look at this. Okay, so we can buy all that stuff. Um, but I, but we, we should be able to sell because we have a hack skill too. All right. Should we keep this hibernation suit because it gives us tech skill? We might need that at some point. Uh, we can sell one of our swords. And where is it? Okay, so that'll give us six bits. So let's sell that sword. Oh, how do we do it? Oh, E. All right, we can sell one of our pistols. Um, we have three pistols in total. Which one has lower condition? I guess they all have the same condition. So let's sell two of those. Uh, we'll keep the one. Gyrosite. Ranged weapon mod increase, increases weapon accuracy, armor parts, components used to repair armor, and a mag to zap. Ranged weapon mod magazine changes the weapon's damage type to shock. <laughs> hmm. All right. That must be for like a an energy weapon or something, I'm guessing. What's that? Weapon parts. Yeah, I don't want to sell that stuff. Oh, uh, okay. I think that's all we want to sell for now. I, I want to keep this suit because if we need to do something uh, techy and we need some extra skills, we can put that suit back on to do that. Oh, junk. Isn't there like a sell all junk thing? Hold Z, sell junk. There we go. Nice. Okay. Now with extra added artificial ingredients at no extra cost. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, we did uh, we did pretty good steal, stealing stuff and selling stuff in here. Good for us. We are bad people. <laughs> Let's go. Loose lips, pink slips. Oh, that yeah, that's barred. What about in here? Oh, this is the the toity. Alright. Can we find pistols in these toilets? Probably not. Let's go down here. Nice. Lots of stuff to to hork out of there. Going down into the bowels of this place, aren't we? I remember um, playing Fallout New Vegas towards the end of the game where you go into the dam. Kind of reminds me of this a little bit. Oh shit, that hurt. That's right, we've got, uh, we got auto heal. What's that, like an incinerator or something? I don't know. There's more of these, uh, Sprat thingamadoodles. What's that do? Oh, that's a power regulator. You know what, though? I think if we try and grab that now, we're gonna get zapped. Okay. Running self-examination. Help yourself to refreshing ten of Spacer's Chaw while you wait. Power source. Spacer's Choice Electrical Transformer. Transformer stats responsive. Power regular responsive. Query. Geothermal facility. Disengage power like regular. The Emerald Vale region is powered by the Spacer's Choice Geothermal Facility. Spacer's Choice is proud to bring the colonists of Halcyon moderately innovative technology at a reasonable price. Uh, okay, return to route. 
disengage the power regulator. Unable to comply, the power regulator unit may not be disengaged while the transformer is active. Transformer shutdown. Failure. Transformer shutdown protocol is non-operational. Huh. All right. Well, I guess we can't... Um... Oh, in compliance with Spacer's Choice Engineering and Development Policy, shutdown protocols have been disabled on all transformers. This is to prevent illegal tampering, upgrading, or some old guy coming along and stealing our power coupling. That would be me. Uh, warning, please avoid attempting to modify or tamper with Spacer's Choice electrical transformer while power is active. Doing so may lead to death, catastrophic injury, and in irre irreparable damage to the transformer. Right, okay, so we probably better not mess with that. We've got to shut off the transformer first. But now we know where it is. Anything else we can borrow? I mean, steal? I mean, borrow? I don't think so. Alright, let's go back up here. We still can't get in there, but there's a door that way. How do you get to that place? <clears throat> Not through there. Okay, let's go this way. Can we come around through here and get over there? Not that I can see. Bones and gears don't mix. Yeah, they generally don't. That's that's good advice. <laughs> oh. I better be careful. And let's sneak. Make sure. I guess this place doesn't have any security cameras. <laughs> Did I see someone walking around on here? Where the hell is all the workers at? Oh, another vending machine? Where's that? Just said we discovered a vending machine, but I don't see it. Can we open this door? Alright, that goes back outside too. That looks like an office. Oh, it must be that vending machine. Okay. these papers anything we can read doesn't look like it <laughs> okay um let's go ahead and go in here now that's an elevator all right what's this do Thermal access logs. <clears throat> Notice the Edgewater Salt Tuna Canning fa Facility strictly adheres to Spacer's Choice standards of health and safety. Notice schedule your sick leave with your Spacer's Choice foreman and or supervisor. Be considered toward other members of Spacer's Choice family. Allow two to four weeks uh, to process and approve your scheduled sick leave. What? <laughs> two to four weeks? What the hell? Lost hours must be compensated to the company. See, see Reed, if you're having trouble paying for your sick leave, we'll try to arrange wage deductions instead. Remember, work invigorates the spirit. Sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind and sickness in the character. If you find yourself falling ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with our local vicar. Now, that sounds like bullshit to me. Okay. So... Uh, I guess let's go in here first. Oh, no, that's outside. Okay. Uh, let's go in here then. So this is taking us up. <laughs> The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. Small words. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. What? Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's, uh, 
mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. They're putting something other than tuna in the cans? What the hell? That sounds, uh, wrong. Requires Reed's key to unlock. Yeah, we're, Seems whoa. we've got a guest. I guess we're talking really to this now, guy. Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was she did. I was forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Um, you must be the town boss. Uh, I'll wait till you're finished. Yeah, let's say, are you Reed? I was told I should talk to you. Let's go with one. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I must say, wearing a marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. I do wish you'd show your uniform a little more respect. Um, uniform, what are you talking about? I don't work for Spacer's Choice. Uh, yeah, I don't. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Um, my ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regular. I don't plan on staying long. Um, let's just, yeah, let's just tell them what we're here for. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. She just said that. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Uh, frying myself? Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. Oh, that doesn't sound There's good. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Mostly? Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. When you say mostly abandoned, what you mean? Yeah, that's what I want to know about. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Oh. Uh, what a surprise. I never would have guessed. I don't think these people will take care of their power. You mean marauders. Marauders aren't people. Um... Yeah, let's be a smartass. What a surprise. I never would have guessed. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. <laughs> the people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Um, why? If you want me to solve your deserter problem, I charge by the head. <laughs> um, yeah, why? Edgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. Um, none of what you're telling me is my problem. Exactly. It's our problem, not yours, <laughs> but I'm asking for your help. If those workers don't come back, Edgewater is going to collapse. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Um, how will I recognize Adelaide? Yeah. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Um, those workers must have left town for a reason. Yeah. That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Um. Yeah, you know what? No promises, but... Of course, I understand. We'll see what we can do. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith. 
for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want to guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. She looks kind of worried. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Um... All right, I guess I'll take her with me. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. All right. Whoa. Companions, you've gained a companion. They are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support, their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. Learn more about your companions in the companion ledger. All right. Okay. Well, um, I guess you're coming with me. Hey, aren't you the one that um, we read about in the terminal that was reading the engineering book? Yeah. And you were given up by your parents or something? I think I think that's I think that's her. Wasn't that her? Parvati? Alright, let's go. Are you coming with me? Okay. I hope the companions in this game aren't as dumb as they were <laughs> they were in some of the other like Bethesda games. We'll have to see how well they do. Not not expected much. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Oh, I should have stolen it? this stuff before she watched. Can I pick that up without her noticing? Okay, let's talk to her, see what she wants to know. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Um, figures, Reed didn't exactly strike me as the most honest soul. That's actually true. I don't know if I trust that guy very much. Um, if I wanted to deal with nuance, I wouldn't be this heavily armed. Let's move. That would be kind of an asshole thing to say. My character probably would say something like that, but let's just see if we can find out more information about this Reed guy, because I, he, he kind of rubs me the wrong way here. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Um, well, how did you know, how did you know the deserters? You worked with them, you were friends, or what? Did you know this Adelaide Reed? Yeah, I want to know about Adelaide. Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. I think they used to have a all thing, huh? All I know huh? is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Mm. Okay. Um... Yeah, you can't leave it at that. Why were they arguing? Yeah, let's let's ask can't that. Can't say as I know, I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't have a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt if you can get out to her. All right. Um, I'm sure the deserters are very fine people. So what? I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. Yeah. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, mister. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Uh, what do we need to talk to vicar about? Flipping a switch in your power mill? Yeah. About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kim, and maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. She seems like really uptight and timid and stuff. 
Um, all right, where do I find him? The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. All right, um... Didn't I already say... Oh, I said where I could find him. Okay, Thanks, we'll stop mister. by. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Alrighty. So it looks like we have a goody two-shoes on our hands here. As long as she's good in, in a fight, I don't really care so much. All right, so we need to go this way. We, we're, we were supposed to find some lady in the cannery, though. Uh, the lady that needs to pay the grave fee. Here, let's look at this for a minute. Uh, fistful of digits, small grave matter. Phyllis is one of the four people says she works as a supervisor in the Edgewater cannery. Uh, is it because of the time of day? The, the thing is, is there's nobody working in this place, which I find kind of odd. Is do we have like um, uh, yeah, set active two times. Okay, so we should have a marker now. That's Ludwig, Ludwig, Ludwig. That's Abernathy. Where's Phyllis at? Right there, okay. Here she is. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Tenderfoot? Um, yeah. If you're gonna be a jerk, I'm gonna be a jerk. Graveside fees, I'm here to collect. Shit. Shit. Solid's still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Why the hell would I tell him? These papers aren't signed in your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Um, why would you do that? You have to pay for your neighbor's gravesite fees? If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. You said this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. That's what I've heard. Um... That's an awful thing to say, sure. Not half as awful as the bill Eugene left us with. Holy shit. <laughs> You're, all you Suicide care about is the bill? Crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Oh, horse shit. You can't be serious. I'm plenty serious. In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset... We would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Really? Um, he was a person, not an asset. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. All right. Whatever. You guys are kind of weird. Did we go in here before? Uh, can I take this? Hey, go look over the other way. Uh, Z, hold. Heading back. Well, that means come back to me? What is... Okay, does X mean go over there? X doesn't do anything. I don't want her to get all uppity on me when I'm stealing stuff. <laughs> Use terminal. Foreman Phyllis Granger, messages. Welcome, Phyllis Granger, from R. Thompson. Phyllis, owing to your hard work 
and positive attitude, I have sanctioned your access to medical treatment in the event of contagion. As you know, the company has not provided us with enough medicine to treat every worker. I wish I could treat every member of the Spacer's Choice family who fell ill to this plague, but I cannot. Medical privileges are strictly merit-based. Please do not, under any circumstances, distribute your ration of medication to any other worker. We're all in this together. Return to root. Personal files. Uh, password required. Hack 5 bypass. Yeah, we can hack that. Password tenderfoot. Password accepted. Welcome, P. Granger. Continue. Oh, there goes a the timer. Um, Theodore buried last night. Reed asked me not to report his death in our quarterlies. Sounds fair to me. Is that the same guy? Um, was asked to prepare a statement or something for the other workers. Been thinking about it. Don't know what to tell them. Don't end up like theater. Do your work, show up, wear a smile, and you'll get your medical privileges. It's a start. I don't think that's the same guy. This is somebody else. And it looks like Reed's trying to cover up a death or something. Not to report his death at our quarterly. Sounds fair to me. Was asked to prepare a statement or something for the other workers. Been thinking about it. Don't know what to tell him. Don't end up like theater. Do your work. Show up. Wear a smile. And you'll get your medical privileges. Does that mean he died? He must have died from the plague then, I think. Um, but that's an information that's good to know. Because we could blackmail this Reed guy for not reporting that in the quarterlies if he turns out to be an asshole. Which I think he is anyway. Oh, man, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, How do you feel about, you know, just taking a couple things? Oh, she doesn't care. <laughs> That's kind of surprising because she kind of seems like a goody two-shoes, but whatever. Okay. What do we got here? More Sprat Hide. At some point, we're going to get too heavy. Ah, look at that. So they're throwing those things in the meat grinder, and that's the meat that they're putting into the... Oh, gross, man. So this is what's going into the cans? Yuck. See, now that's another thing that, that I bet you reads behind, too. So this guy's... He's not that good of a dude. He's got a little bit of a snake, I think. Company cannery worker. Okay, now the people are in here. I wonder if there's day and night... There must be day and night cycles in the game. That's probably what it is. Okay, so, let's see. We need to go find Ludwig, Ludwig, and Martin. Who's closer? They're about the same distance, aren't they? We're also supposed to go talk to uh, um, the the v vicar. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. Guy. All right, let's go talk to this Martin guy first. Oh, we're out of time, aren't we? Damn it. Esther Blaine. All right. You know what? Um, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap up the episode here. And then uh, when we start the next episode, we'll just pick up right where we left off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, share out the video and leave a comment. Those things do help the channel. I do appreciate it. I'm going to bed because I'm really tired. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.